Hello Sidetrack fans and welcome to the first episode of TC's RC Garage. I'm TC and this is my little RC Garage. So the first thing I'm going to address right off the bat, stock bodies. Now I do not like stock bodies. The best part about RC is to give your own individual touch, your own style, and your own flair. And the stock body is just that wall that... <clears throat> Since this is already a stock pre-painted body, I'm just going to paint it. Flat black's a cool color. Let's see if we can give this thing a little bit of a Mad Max style. With that being said, the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to get rid of all the stock stickers. It's been bashed around for about a year now. So it's pretty well toast and I don't really care what the outside looks like as long as it's not stock. Like I said, I don't like stock bodies. On to the second step, the cleaning the body. I'm going to wash it with some dish soap to get all the oils off the body. Probably any leftover dirt too. After that, I'm going to sand down the body with some very fine grit sandpaper, make it all rough. That way the paint's going to stick to it. Now what you're going to want to do is use a paint that's meant for leg sand as your base. So, I'm going to use this here can of silver as a base for the flat black paint to stick to. I'm hoping that doing that, every time the body gets a scratch, it's going to reveal a silver undercoat. Sort of emulate maybe a metal finish. As always, you want to lay down your coats of paint and fine coats. So I'm just gonna mist the body. Then I'm gonna let it sit for about an hour. Let that harden and cure properly before I put another coat on. But hopefully what this is gonna do is make that silver base stick really well. Now what I've got here is 280 grit sandpaper. Paper might be a little bit too hot, but like I said, I don't like stock bodies. And it's pretty flat black, so I mean, the rough is better, right? So now that the body is sanded, it's almost time to paint. Now the reason I didn't mask anything off like the windows and stuff was that I'm not too concerned about it. I'm gonna cut them out and your stickers to the front. It won't be so bad. At least it won't be stock. Cause like I said, I don't like stock bodies. Now I wouldn't recommend cutting it out like this cause obviously I'm making a disgusting mess of plastic. But it's still gonna be better than stock. Like I said, I don't like stock bodies. Say it with me now. I don't like stock bodies. One more time. Gone. I think that's all I cut it on. So the next step is gonna be to start spraying it. One more thing before we go to the paint shop and get all carried away. Make this body a little tougher. Bang, it's beaten, it's broken, it's lots of holes, lots of cracks. It's a little better. Well, that should strengthen up the body and give it like another 15 seconds of life. Let's go to the paint shop. Now, I don't really want to start painting this body in the house. This shit stinks. I came out to the garage where the fumes aren't going to bother me so much when I'm sitting down later trying to watch TV and have supper. All I got to do now is whip out my trusty high-tech paint stand and we're ready to go. Now, nice light coats. I'm gonna let this sit like that for a little while. Nice light coat of silver. Give it a little bit of time to dry. Come back in a few, see what happens. I already went ahead and sprayed a little bit on the bottom, just cause it's hard to get at from this angle. So I got the silver on. Now it's time to lay down some flat black. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna mist it on basically, multiple coats. We'll see what happens at the end. It's maybe a little bit more than I initially wanted to put on. Do a few more coats later. 2 a.m. Wednesday morning. Time for the final coat of black paint on the slash body. Let's see what happens. It's already looking pretty good. Except for this stupid ring where the can is. First to get a little coat across the bottom. Ditch the can. And that's it for now. Alright, so it's done. We're gonna come check it out in the morning and see what happens. See what it gives us, see what we get. So here it is, the finished product. It really didn't turn out as flat black as I wanted it to be. It's a really shiny, but uh, I'm sure after a few minutes outside it's gonna change that. Thanks for watching.
silver on. Ow.